so we have this rule where we switch off driving because we share a car. We, we forgot who drove last. Yeah, we don't know who drove last, so we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors. That's what we usually do when we don't remember. Fun fact, we don't really like driving that much. Ugh, here comes that annoying lady. Sorry, our neighbor is kind of scary. Anyway, she drove away, so. Yeah, she's kind of mean. Anyway, let's get <laughs> Let's do rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Okay, ready? Oh, okay, this is gonna take forever. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, shoot. Rock, paper, shoot. Uh, out of three, out of three. I tried doing like a mind game there, you know, like what is she gonna pick and then I picked it because usually I just do whatever I think I want to pick. You know, I don't think too much in it. Okay, ready? We've done this so many times, but we're doing it for like three straight minutes because the twin telepathy just like keeps going. Yeah. I'm in favor of shoot. Bro! <sighs> Fine. Okay. But then you know what that means. Okay. So we just switched because I lost, but here's the thing. Nina just told me she wants to drive. Why, you may ask? So this is another thing of our twin rules. I know, I don't know if it sounds stupid, maybe it does, but the person who's driving gets to choose, oh, um, I want the one with more fun. The person who drives and orders gets first pick. It's kind of lame for the person who sits here, which is me. So is anyone else excited for Christmas time? Because, I don't know, the, the change in the season just has you feel some type of way. No, I know. We're out here listening to jazz music, okay. Halloween music, and right now I'm kind of just in the mood for Christmas. I love the music and I love the lights. You know what I mean? And I just want the Christmas Starbucks drink already. Same. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else love the sugar cookie latte from Starbucks? Like that's me and Kylie's favorite holiday drink. It's so good. It's the best. It's our favorite. And you also have to try and get sugar cookie foam. You just have to ask for it. And they put it on and it's so good. So they just released their holiday menu and they said that they're gonna come out with this like peppermint brownie cake pop. Like you already know I'm gonna be first to try it. Right? Yeah, we're gonna go try that. Yeah, let's like blast some Christmas music because just the season and it's not even Halloween yet, but who cares? I'm excited. A brown oat sugar shake and espresso with almond milk today. And then the turkey bacon? Yes. You got it. Oh, Another cup of tea off the Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys doing today? I'm good, good. How, are how are you? Are you good as well? Is there anything fun? I'm trying to make a YouTube video today. We'll see how Ooh, that goes. Fun. What do you guys do? <laughs> um, we're just trying to get into YouTube. We mostly do uh -huh. like TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, you know, got started off with Starbucks, oh you know? God, I love that. Do you <laughs> want to get in the vlog? What was that? Do you want to get in the vlog? Oh my god. Girl, you look good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was just going to say, you guys' outfits are really cute. Oh, oh my thank gosh, you. thank you. Yeah. Let me, we have a second one too, right? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I had to do my job. Let me. It's okay. No this. worries. I'll be in the no worries. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So then, oh, what's yeah. your um, go-to Starbucks fall drink? Oh my god, I really like the pumpkin cream chai. Yeah, it's so good. But it is good. kind of like it's kind of basic, but yeah. I mm -hmm. like it. I it's like really do, good. Yeah. I like to do so. I get a grande. I'll do two pumps of the chai and two pumps of the brown sugar. Ooh, oh, that sounds yeah. so good. That sounds so fun. The phone. But if you go, I'm so excited. Do you guys want anything else today? I'm um, oh. just two straws. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yeah, of course. Bye. Okay. She was so cool. Love her. Love her. Shout Best out to time. her. We got ourselves a turkey bacon. Mm -hmm. It's so good. You guys so gonna try it. All right, Kylie, time to pick. Okay, I want my starbs and I want it now. <laughs> so we go like this for like a good minute. Oh yeah, we really need to examine Just the like, foam. Which foam has more, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's like really important. So I'm gonna go with this one today. You can have this one. Okay. But they look you. pretty much the same. Yeah. That guy's the best. So the Starbucks order today, we have the iced brown oat sugar shake and espresso. And guys, game changer, add salted caramel cold foam. It tastes yeah. so good. We also got almond milk today. Mm. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. I have no words. Ugh, oh, it's a great start of my day. After that first sip, that first sip, feeling, like, I know I can do anything. There's no trials ahead of me. You like foam on your are, lip. Um... You might want to get rid I'm of that. I'm saving it there for later. Okay. I like feel like I can do anything now. With my you know Starbucks, I mean? like I can do anything in this world. You know what I mean? So we're going to do a Q&A right now. I'm going to ask some of you guys on TikTok some questions for us. And let's see what you guys have to say. Hey guys, today we're doing a quick Q&A for YouTube. So go ahead and comment down any questions you guys have for us or any twin questions. We are here to answer them. Yeah. So, so comment them really quick so you guys can be featured in our YouTube video. So they don't think I'm lying. But we do want to answer one question that we usually get on our TikTok account. And we haven't answered it yet. So the question is, what is your ethnicity? And because we've 
spoken about it quite a few times. We're German, mm -hmm. we're Guatemalan, but we live in California. Yeah. Um, so my dad was born in Guatemala, and then my mom was born in Germany, and then they met in California. They both learn each other's languages, which, yeah, is, which really is really cool. cool. They speak to us in Spanish all the time, they speak to us in German all the time. We're better at understanding the languages, though. Yeah. You know, like, you can have a conversation and we'll understand everything. Yeah. But we just don't speak it often because we, because we live here. But we have a lot of cool traditions, the way, like, our family expresses their culture. Yeah, I really like being... What is it? <laughs> I really love being multicultural. It makes me interested in learning other cultures, too. Yeah. French culture. I'm oh, so really cool. fascinated when it comes to traveling. It's just so cool seeing how different cultures all operate. Just like the fact that we met fans from TikTok in Germany and London too. And it's like, oh, I didn't know that. Like, that's so cool. Which one's your drink? Which one's my drink? Shoot. I'm gonna guess this one's mine. First question What is your favorite show? Love funny shows. It's love. We haven't seen The Office in a while, but it's. Yeah. We so just funny. love all funny things. Have you guys ever had a boyfriend? Um, yes. yes. We would switch on weekends because... No, I'm kidding. Um, I mean, if you're counting kindergarten, whenever I had a boyfriend in kindergarten... That's the only time we've ever had a boyfriend. We they were twins. Yeah. And okay. there were these two twin boys, and like, oh my gosh, we should date them. Because we're and twins. Like, it just makes sense. Like, the math you know? is mathing, so we should date them. Like, like, you're my boyfriend now. I'm second born. I think I dated the second born. Yeah, and I dated the first born. That's funny. We did that on purpose, too. I remember it not lasting very long. Kylie randomly told me, like, oh, he's my ex now. Like, I broke up with him. And I was like, okay, then I'm breaking up with him. With his twin. Like, yeah. why are we doing that? And so I broke up with him, and then they became our exes. And it was just, like, really fun to say that we had an ex. I don't know why. But, yeah. What is your favorite food? Starbucks. Starbucks. Does that count? This, this is literal literally right here. my favorite food. Guys, I wake up and think about Starbucks. It's not okay because I can't be spending all my money. But it's so fun, you know? I know. With Starbucks, just take all my money. It's fine. Like, it's fine. I also do love a good acai bowl. Oh, yeah. Dude, tell me why <laughs> where we live, we don't know any twins. Okay, besides those kids in kindergarten that we dated, there are barely any twins where we live. So... Sometimes it seems like we're the only twins in the world because we're so like twin twin identical-ish. Darman collab, we met the Beyond Twins and it was really cool because you know they look identical. We have a lot in common with them. Whoa, like twins connect, you know? Right? But we don't That's really cool. see any we never, we see, never twins. see twins. So it was really cool meeting them because yeah. they had a lot in common with us. Least favorite thing about being a twin. Oh my god, there's just like such a long list. I don't know what yeah. again. Oh, she's annoying guys. She's Oh, but seriously, what's our favorite least thing? <laughs> Whenever we disagree, because we never disagree, we are always on the same page, we like the same stuff, we always want to do the same stuff. Whenever I'm sick, she's sick. Whenever I'm tired, she's tired. Whenever I'm hungry, she's hungry. Whenever I want Starbucks, she's Starbucks. Like, I'm telling you. Identical. So whenever we disagree on something, it's like betrayal in a way, because we never disagree. It's yeah. hard to picture that lifestyle, but... Yeah, like, it's hard to picture that. It's not normal, but that's how we live our life. It's like, send help. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Like, why are we so identical? I don't know! Who started driving first? Ooh, we love this question because I failed my test. There, I said it. We were scheduled to take our test the same day. Yay, Kylie goes first and she passes. Good Yay. job, Kylie. Good job, good job. And then it was my turn. So excited, my twin passed. What could possibly go wrong? You know? I don't know, I think I almost hit a car, something like that. But yeah, I come back within the first minute. That was fast. So sad. Because Kylie passed and I didn't, and I kind of like told her not to tell anyone. I couldn't tell anyone I passed. I told I told her not to tell anyone that she passed because it was a secret. Because everyone knew we took our test on the same day, and everyone would be like, "Oh, what about Nina? Nina, did you pass? Nina, did you pass?" I did not want to deal with that. It's like a live and Maddie moment. I you was know what very I mean? embarrassed, but you know what? You could have taken my test for me. Yeah, I honestly should have. Yeah. So we do listen to a lot oh, of jazz music. Yeah. So jazz is our vibe. But Just like really makes well. you happy. Old Frank Sinatra vibes. But we do listen to pop too, don't get us wrong. Taylor Swift, yeah. she's the best. And Olivia Peters. Rodrigo, come on. Okay, what else? What is your birthday? Well, I don't know about you, but my birthday is April 27th. My birthday is April 27th, 2003. And guess who was born first, guys? Hmm. What was your dream job when you were younger? That's a good question. What? Okay. No. You know when you're a kid, you want to be everything, you know what I mean? Bill Nye, the science guy, um, the astronaut. Sorry, okay. <laughs> okay, I think, oh, we obviously wanted to be actors. Yeah, we definitely wanted to be act I actors. I begged my mom, I was like, yeah. can I please audition for this Nickelodeon show, please? Oh my gosh, there were acting. We also really want to be YouTubers. Yeah. 
We would like film a lot, never post. We weren't it. allowed to post yeah. on YouTube either. How old are you? Oh gosh. I don't really like this question I because I don't like saying my age because it's embarrassing. It's like embarrassing. I don't look my age at all. You guys, it's so I can't walk around and just say it and be confident with it because it's just I don't look my age at all, you know? I don't look like I'm in my twenties, okay? I just don't. Yeah, you look literally twelve years old. <laughs> Thank you. But it's okay because so do I because we look the same. We're in this together. We were at a coffee shop and this lady thought we were ditching school. She thought we were 12. She's like, girls, you shouldn't be ditching school right now. You girls should be in school. And I'm like, ma'am, I'm in college and I'm doing online school. Um, I'm moving on. I'm sorry about that, but you were wrong, sweetie. Yeah. And she, when we told her that, she just, all she said was, well, you girls look 12. And then she left. And I was like, yeah. that was really weird. Anyway. And, you know, whenever I told my grandma I was turning 20, here's what my grandma said. You can't tell anybody that you're turning 20. You just can't. Like, it's embarrassing. She said that? You don't look that age. Like, oh, you, you can't. You have to make up some age. Say you're 16. Say you're 17. Just don't say you're 20. I'm like, yeah, I know. I, I get it. I Even my grandma knows it's embarrassing, you guys. Yeah. But I think it's good at the same time because then when I'm, like, really old, I'll look young, you know? Yeah. It's not even that bad, but it's We're like, just getting used to this, okay? Just, yeah. It's okay. It's fine. I don't want to look 20 right now, okay? <laughs> That's <Wait>. really specific. <laughs> Wait. Math, science... Math, science, hmm, wait, <laughs> history, language. I hate history. I hate history, it's just so boring. <laughs> Our teachers teach really slowly and like talk like this and like, dude, Everyone exactly like the movies. Asleep. I have a history teacher you don't want. There was a kid sleeping on the floor once. Yeah, so she's better at me than math. Here's how Nina's vibe works, okay? She's one of those girls that's like, oh, I'm gonna study for like so many hours and oh, I'm so not ready for the test. Ace is it, literally. Ace is it. And I'm over here like, bro, what do you mean? Like, uh, it's annoying. Like, you don't even really need to say that hard, dude. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, that would happen. <laughs> and, and then, like, I remember, like, once we, like, worked on a test together, because, like, the teacher allowed that. Like, oh, every, yeah. Everybody was allowed to partner up with someone for the test. And tell me how we partnered up together, and I got an 80, and she got a 90. Yeah, that was weird. Um, have you guys seen Outer Banks? Yes. Yes. We love that I show. I love Outer Banks. So Are you good. Me? If you guys were to switch places, would your mom know? Yeah. Unless we wouldn't tell her. She can tell us apart. Yeah. Wait, what was the question? <laughs> your mom. If we were to switch places. <laughs> Sorry, I zoned out. Your mom know. Um. Yeah, she would know. My mom can tell us apart. A lot of people yeah. say that. Oh, like, do your parents get you mixed up? No, they're my parents. They're not gonna mix us up. <laughs> Yeah. Except like when we do talk on the phone, nobody knows who's who because apparently we have the same voice. I don't know. Well, some people know who's who. Mm -hmm. My sister does. My sister. My, we have another sister. She knows. All right, guys, that's it for today. But if you guys liked hanging out with us today at Starbucks, um, comment below and we'll make another video. Guys, I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today. Sorry we haven't posted like at all. Yeah, on we YouTube. never really post on YouTube, but we're trying to get back into it. Yeah. We really are. Comment below any other video ideas you guys would like yeah. for us to do. We're down. And we'll do it. But. Yeah, love you guys. Bye.